Thanks, Chuck. Well, the 2013 Georgia-Florida Tobacco Tour is the first indicator for the quality and the expected yields from two production states. Major challenges this year have not come from insects or diseases, but from Mother Nature. Rick Trepto has more. From a distance and up close, the Georgia tobacco crop has the appearance of one headed for good quality and big yields. Generally, we have too much rain uh, recently in the state of Georgia for tobacco production. Tobacco is a very uh, drought tolerant plant and it does not tolerate excessive moisture very well. This is just an additional challenge that's plagued growers since the transplanting stage. But the big issue for the season was getting the crop started in soils that were excessively cold and excessively wet. And starting a crop in wet soils always is slow. On the Berrien County, very diversified farm of Ricky Tucker, 435 acres of flu cured tobacco is growing. As far as I know, my family has grown tobacco since they come from England. Tucker, the vice president of the Berrien County Farm Bureau, said about 85 acres of tobacco didn't look as good as what the tour saw. It very unscientifically just flopped. Too much water, it uh, cuts off the oxygen in the soil, and when it does it, every leaf will lay straight down beside the stalk. Too much of it, and it won't come back. It, it just absolutely die. Growers can really do only so much. They can aerate the soil as they're able to get on the soil without causing a mucky mess. They can re-fertilize the crop to a degree. Other tour stops included updates on research for controlling the tomato spotted wilt virus, and here, black shame. The disease has challenged researchers for years. Genetic resistance is already in some varieties. We developed molecular markers um, to track the movement of that chromosome segment um, into current breeding lines, so stuff that would be more adapted to growing across the southeastern U.S and um, we want to evaluate that in Georgia to potentially um, for lines that would be um, options from North Carolina all the way south to Georgia and Florida as well. This potentially represents a great step forward incorporating completely new and different types of uh, resistance to black shank and combining them in sort of stack sorts of way so that uh, we'll have multiple resistances from multiple sources into, into good quality varieties like 326 or NC 196. The researchers want to eliminate the threat so all fungicide and fumigant use would not be necessary. To market the southeastern crop, the farmers contract some or all of their tobacco to the large companies. A lot of it goes to China now and overseas, and most all the companies now do ship overseas to the Chinese market and other markets they've developed. Most all the companies has got a good demand for shipment and uh, just needing a good quality crop to come on, and that's what we're hoping to come out of it. The bottom line for the Georgia tobacco crop is that there will be plenty of good flu-cured leaves from the state for this year. It may be just a couple of weeks late. In Tiff County, I'm Rick Trepto for the Georgia Farm Monitor.